Tom Ross. I grew up in Pensacola, Florida and uh, served with the U.S. Army Special Forces. I was an advisor pretty much after officer school, jump school, and training at Fort Bragg. I went directly into a combat assignment in South Vietnam. As the operations and intelligence officer of the largest Special Forces A-team ever formed, typically an A-team has 12 men. This team had a large assignment. So at our greatest strength, we had 55 Americans who were responsible for the defense of Nha Trang City. In Vietnam, Allied forces dropped what was called a Chu Hoi Pass. And this Chu Hoi Pass offered enemy soldiers a free pass, if you will. They could come in, surrender their arms, and receive good treatment. Well, this village had been held hostage by North Vietnamese troops and VC troops for, we were told, over eight years. The Montagnards needed somebody to help them, so they found these passes and said, we'll go, we'll go to the people that promised this. And so the story unfolded that they had been abused, used as slaves, pack animals, ammunition bearers, and um, women and children had been abused. Well, if you're a young American, 22 years old, and you're told this story, what do you do? But as I stood there and thought about possible actions, you know, I thought if you're wearing the uniform of an American soldier, there is only one possibility, and that possibility is that you go after them. Because it was 1968, Bobby Kennedy had been assassinated, Martin Luther King had been assassinated, and the rescue occurred a week before the Democrat convention. So somebody at a high level was looking for some positive twist on the Vietnam War. And the story wound up airing on the CBS Evening News. And the, uh, it was David Colhane was the reporter one of the more unusual Allied operations in recent months took place a few days back in a Viet Cong area 30 miles west of Nha Trang, called Valley of the Tigers. CBS News correspondent David Colhane was there. This is Viet Cong territory. Ordinarily, there isn't an American or a South Vietnamese soldier within miles of this spot. And when we were out there, we landed. He said, where can I say we are? Well, we were so far, I showed him my map. I said, well, the map ends here and we're out, we're out here. And I said, but you know, I've done observation missions out here and I've seen tigers. So I call it the Valley of the Tigers. I thought that was an exciting name. So to hear Walter Cronkite introduce the piece as taking place in the Valley of the Tigers was kind of exciting. As, as a result of this mission, the South Vietnamese government awarded me with the gallantry cross with a bronze star attached. I never wanted to be a hero, but I thought being gallant was special. <laughs>